Hey y'all, my name's Cody. I'm here at the Emerald Coast Science Center, and I'm going to read y'all a book called Sailor on the Seashore. All right, so Sailor on the Seashore by Tonya Calvert. <clears throat> Sailor was a young seagull who lived down with Mama and Papa Seagull on the seashore down in the Panhandle, deep in the South. Mama and Papa Seagull taught Sailor how to hunt for minnows, worms, and crabs to eat. Mama and Papa Seagull always taught Sailor to stay away from the fishermen with long poles, shiny hooks, and big nets. Down by the pier, Old Gray Pelican waited for Sailor to visit. Every day, Sailor listened to the wise advice and stories of Old Gray Pelican by the pier, on the shore, down in the panhandle, deep in the south. Old Gray Pelican told Sailor the story of his friend, Big Blue Heron. Big Blue wears a hook on his beak. A fisherman's hook caught him one day long ago and has been there ever since. Old Gray Pelican warned Sailor not to go near the fisherman on the shore, down in the panhandle, deep in the south. Old Gray Pelican told Sailor the story of his friend, Senor Mackerel, the Spanish Mackerel. Senor Mackerel was caught in a fishing net. He had been swimming too close to the shore. Old Gray Pelican warned Sailor to stay away from the fishermen on the shore down in the panhandle, deep in the south. Old Gray Pelican told Sailor the story of his friend Piper, the little sandpiper, who was caught in the fishing line. She had been looking for supper too close to the fishermen when she was caught. Old Gray Pelican warned Sailor to stay away from the fishermen on the shore down in the panhandle, deep in the south. Sailor thanked Old Gray Pelican for his stories and promised to stay away from the fishermen. But Sailor was hungry, very hungry. He was thinking about lunch, minnows, worms, and crabs. He was not thinking about the fishermen with long poles, shiny hooks, and big nets. The fishermen were looking for their lunch too, with their long poles, shiny hooks, and big nets. Suddenly, Sailor felt something around his leg. It tightened around him, and he could not fly. Sailor was frightened. He cried loudly. <clears throat> Mama and Papa Seagull heard Sailor's cries, and they came. They brought the whole flock with them. They all flew around the fishermen but none of them knew how to help Sailor. Old Gray Pelican heard the cries and knew just what to do. He called on his friends to help Sailor. First came Big Blue Heron. He pecked at the fishing line that was tangled around Sailor. Next came Senor Mackerel. He nipped at the fisherman's toes to distract them. Last came Piper the Sandpiper. She brought encouragement to Sailor. Piper chirped. Your friends are all here, Sailor. Don't be afraid. We will help you. Sailor felt the fishing line begin to loosen. Soon it fell away. He was free. Everyone cheered. Sailor still visits Old Gray Pelican every day. But now he listens more closely and always avoids the fishermen in the shallow water near the shore down in the panhandle, deep in the south. <clears throat>